What's going on guys? El Kalex here and welcome to another video. So I haven't been posting in a minute. I've been so busy with work. I've traveled across the country, just got back, and I've been away from the hobby. Haven't even been on the Facebook forums or anything in general. I haven't been looking at masks, nothing at all. Um, I used to own a KHU, sold it, regretted it, told the other guy, yo, if you please let me buy it from you didn't happen luckily i stumbled upon this mask over here on facebook not too long ago and i got it for a steal that i can't even believe what i got it for unbelievable so this right here i did make a video on it before but this is a different um version of the mask he did make 30 well they're, they're, it's the same version it's a different um uh, different mask the different one that i didn't have and I want to make a video about this mask because I don't know why I'm obsessed with this mask. It's, it's weird to explain. This is a KHU. Um, Ken Herline made this mask. That's the last mask he replicated. And look, there's a lot of backlash with this guy. Um, I don't want to go through history about that. You know, I'm not trying to spread any negativity. But you can't deny that it's a, it's, it's a it's a nice ass mask and it's not direct lineage from a captain kirk mask and i know i go for accuracy and like it's close to a kirk but from the documentation that ken you know produced and showed us of how he made this mask and all the research he's done and him owning a captain kirk mask and him having the actual hero mask for reference like I don't know about you guys, but I think that's enough credit to even like replicate a Ma Michael Myers mask. And I think he completely, completely nailed it. It's insane. So obviously Ken Herod, this mask painted it, did the eye cuts and, and everything. He did make about 30 of them. And um, this is a little brief history about this. So. He did produce he did like have some care instructions i don't want to read this but basically uh just telling you how to like take care of this mask yada 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 and then he also produced a certificate of authenticity and he has it numbered so this is r r16 yeah he did a signature and what's cool is um dick warlock gave ken hurtline a batch of the actual hair that was used in the in the screen used mask and he put a single strand in each single certificate. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe I'll do a close up in a few. In this uh, over here. So the reason why I really, really love this mask. I don't know why. It's just you have to have this mask in person to even like know what I mean. Um, I have so many neg masks and I love neg. I have other masks from different companies like uh, Death Row. And top tier, top tier for sure. But the thing is, is the latex of this mask, the hair, how it feels, it, it just, it's so vintage. It's so weird to explain. It's so vintage feeling. It's like you have a mask literally from the 70s. It even smells like it's from the 70s. It's weird to explain, man. I know it sounds weird, but I have a mask from the 70s. I have two Don Post Studios masks. I'm doing a full mask um, collection video very soon. And... I don't know it's it's insane it just like it just screams hero it's weird man and what's cool about this mask is it was intended to be an h2 but it's weird it's like once you wear it it's so versatile like it could be either or you know like this mask pulls off both looks and it's just so fascinating man i don't know i, I love this i love this man i'm never going to sell this you have my word as a man. This is a mess that's gonna stay in my collection. And if you can get your hands on a KHU, and keep in mind, Ken did produce more of these after his original run, and I am not a fan of those. I am not a fan. It's it's a creepy looking mask, and it feels like you're holding the real deal. Like I'm not overhyping this mask right now. Like I'm telling you, I have 98 Protos, I have all these 75K. I have the most accurate masks. I swear all of them. You guys have seen my videos. But I don't know, just something about this mask is just, it's just crazy. 
It's fascinating, man. And I want to do a close-up for you guys, just so you know. But the hair is one of the best hairs I've ever, ever even seen in a mask. And I'll give him that. And the latex is, is the best feeling latex I've felt in a mask. But let's do a close-up. Can Hurt Line Ultimate? The details? Also, the original hero had a little scar under the chin. He also included that. And Ken knew about like the mask because he had it in person and he talked, he spoke with uh, Dick Warlock. So he added in details that like many artists don't add in. But it's all there, man. It's just such a fascinating mask. It's so vintage looking. It's so creepy. The hair is insane. I highly recommend. But thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the not uploading in a minute. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please comment below. If you guys are not a fan of this mask, I totally understand. But to me, I don't know, man. It just it's just it's just crazy. But Thank you guys for watching. Peace.